In this episode of the Blissful Parent Report, we're discussing how listening affects behavior in children and teens, and the seemingly never-ending battle to get children to listen and to stop the disrespectful behavior is often a major source of frustration and tension for parents. So we're going to be discussing what you can do to stop this behavior and to create a more loving and peaceful relationship with your children. So when kids don't feel listened to, they act out in different ways, such as talking back, sarcasm, bad manners, lying, yelling, swearing, screaming, and being rude. So what causes this behavior? What causes kids and teens to act out in these different ways? First of all, it's important to understand that children think differently than adults do, and it's not always easy to understand what they are telling you. And when kids interrupt your adult conversations, it's usually their way of trying to get your attention. Even if you give them plenty of attention, there may be a reason why they need your attention right now. So it is important that you do spend some focused time to just listen and talk with your children. And most importantly is actually just listen. And parents sometimes have difficulty listening to their children without judgment. But if you can learn to listen without the judgment and just hear what they're saying as being true for them in this moment, that goes a long way to creating a relationship with your kids that is based on love and understanding. And understand that listening to what they're saying is not the same as giving in. And a lot of parents feel that if they don't stop the behavior or try to control it in some way, that it's going to get worse. But actually the opposite of tr is true. Trying to control another human being will just create resistance. So the idea is to stop and listen. And then understand that that's not the same thing as giving in to their demands. It's just a way of trying to understand and when you can learn to seek to understand the situation before your need to be understood you will have a lot less conflict in your home so when you listen to your kids you're actually communicating a lot to them and children need to know that and when they feel loved cared and respected they are more likely to go on to have strong connections with their family they tend to do better in school they also find learning a lot easier overall they're a lot healthier and happier and best of all they actually respect you as a parent and are more likely to listen to your advice and to cooperate with you in building a happy family environment so if your child comes to you with a problem or they are acting out in a disrespectful way, then start by listening to what they are really saying. Listen to your child and let them know that you take their feelings and their fears seriously. At the same time, try not to take over the problem, as this is likely to further undermine your child's confidence and their self-esteem. Instead, help them solve the problem by helping the child work out what ideas they have about coping with the problem. Talk with them about which ones might help, and which ones might not help, and why. And finally, don't call them names or belittle them in any way and take their problem very seriously. A common reaction might be saying, oh, you're just being chicken, or you're just being a fraidy cat, or whatever slang term you use. And understand that this is a serious problem for them, so calling them names or not taking their problems seriously can actually be a huge blow to their self-esteem and their confidence. So what we're going to take you through right now is what we call the seven characteristics of a blissful parent. And if you can learn to understand and to apply these simple seven characteristics of a blissful parent, you will start to notice immediate changes in your relationships with your kids and with your spouse 
and also in your with yourself in terms of your own self-esteem and your own confidence as a parent remember you can't fix your kids but you can control your own actions and the seven characteristics of a blissful parent are all about things that you can do because change is within your power if you want to change the behavior that's going on in your family know that that change is within your power again not changing your kids but changing your own actions and reactions